Welcome to the Pirate's Landing restaurant. We had zero prior knowledge of this restaurant. We didn't even know it even existed until we got to South Padre Island. But hey, we love seafood. We were driving across the Queen Isabella Causeway. We were like, hey, there's a cool looking pirate ship. Wait a minute, they have a restaurant. It's right on the water. What the heck? Let's give it a try. Though the restaurant is located right at the base of the Queen Isabella Causeway, definitely plenty of views of the uh, Laguna Madre Bay. Obviously very well known for their seafood, steaks, chicken, sandwiches, salads, you know, typical type stuff like you would get in a restaurant. It was great food, the service was great, we definitely enjoyed our views and it really was a wonderful place What's to up, go. Baby? What do you have? The redfish with Pontchartrain? Oh, flounder with Pontchartrain. They are patiently waiting for lunch. There's some lazy birds. They won't even dive down to get it. They just wait for it to float. Straight up above your heads, a crow's nest with a hatch installed. When CW pulls in two ropes, about 30 gallons of ice water is going to come rushing down <laughs> on your head. Yeah, it's filled with bleach, Scully. And it'll work too, Sting, right? All right, folks, everyone, please help us sing. We're going to sing you a happy birthday song, but instead of saying your name, we're going to substitute by saying Vicious Pirates. Here we go on three. One, two, and three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Vicious Pirates. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, everyone, for celebrating your birthday with us. You get the first bit of birthday booty. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs>
That's pretty cool. diesel in the shrimp boats. but they're not launching or anything they're just testing motors and stuff like that but anyway that is SpaceX right there and if we go over here a little ways maybe we can get it in the camera that's the SpaceX facility right there that's where all like the control centers are and uh, mission control and all that stuff like that down here but uh, then they go all the way back over to here and that is actually one of the launch towers there for the rockets must be like a haven for extinct species. Here is another very rare sighting. Yes, on the border of extinction because they can no longer afford to fill them up. Well, that's kind of it, guys, for our pirate boat ride. We're headed back into Port Isabel there, uh, right at the base of the bridge. Uh, it's pretty fun. It's about two hours. They keep you entertained. Uh, it's hilarious watching the kids interact with the pirates. And uh, it was uh, $39 a person. Um, yeah, it's pretty fun. I, I would probably uh, do it again. Uh, you know just just to have the interaction with the folks that are running it it was super cool but they take you out about an hour and we saw a lot of dolphins as you can see and had fun interacting with the other boats and uh, the coast guard came along beside us and waved and shot water pistols back and forth with each other that was pretty fun too so anyway we're gonna head back there that is the new bridge obviously uh, the old bridge you can actually see remnants of the old bridge uh, right here uh, what's left of it <laughs> when they made the original bridge they actually used the water out of the bay here to mix the concrete with and of course well it's full of salt so all of the rebar that was put into the concrete well you know what happened it didn't last very long so they finally had to decommission it and they started the construction of the new bridge which is what you see there which did not use seawater obviously in the concrete so it's pretty cool but that's the causeway bridge that runs between Port Isabel all the way over to 
South right, well, Padre you Island. Here, we'll have you stand right over here. So that's pretty awesome. On the other job, we are at the same pier where we left. Unfortunately, due to the change in our tides, and if you guys look at the sky tonight, you'll see a very big full moon. We're having a very, very long Thank time. Thank you very much. If you haven't subscribed, that is strictly up to you, but we really would appreciate it if you would to try and help us figure out that crazy algorithm called YouTube.